Good morning! It's your first day of preschool! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another vlog. I just woke up, it's around 7 a.m. And today is such an exciting day because Malik is starting his first day of preschool. I don't know if I've actually gotten a chance to talk to you guys about it, but I have on my Instagram and TikTok, but we're putting him in preschool because I just feel like he's been getting super bored at home. I, I'm having a hard time like keeping him entertained. He's 18 months now, and this preschool starts accepting them at 18 months. So we felt like it was a perfect time. He loves playing with like other kids, other children. So I just know that he's gonna have so much fun. They do so much, so many fun activities for them, and they also teach them so much. It's like a win-win all around, but we are kind of busy this morning because I he just woke up, so I'm gonna go grab Malik. I have to make him some breakfast and I have to pack his lunch and get ready. We're going to go take him to his first day of preschool. So I thought I would vlog it for you guys. I think it's going to be such an exciting day. Also super emotional. Right now I'm feeling okay, but I feel like at the second like I drop him off, um, I'm going to be super upset. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how he takes it. Come along the day with us. So we're going to go ahead and make him his breakfast. I make him this all the time. And I got this question, it was like, why do you always make him the same breakfast? And it's because he likes it. And if I try to make him something else, he won't eat it. This way I know he's eating good, I'm getting good nutrients from it because it's like packed with so many good things. So we're gonna do a banana. And this is like super ripe, which is, which is great, perfect. And usually honey, but we're out. So you can add whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the waffle maker. Good morning! It's your first day of preschool. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> you ready for preschool? For breakfast, he gets a waffle with strawberries. Mm. That's what you wanted? Okay. Hot. Okay, so now I'm gonna pack him his lunch. I got him this little bento box and it's perfect. It has like all the little compartments to it for his little lunch. Because he likes options, so. He has a lot of options he can choose from. Okay, I'm gonna do just like a peanut butter sandwich for his main. And the others are just gonna be like little snacks. Cut the crust, he does not like it. 
Then we got a little peanut butter sandwich we can put right here. And then I'm gonna do some grapes. I'm gonna cut them up, of course. I'm gonna put them right here. These are like his favorite. It's like these Annie gummy snacks. They're vegan. They actually taste really good. He's gonna be happy about that. We got little graham crackers. He likes these, so we can do some of those. What should I put in the last thing? <laughs> Um, how about some more strawberries? I thought about that. Yeah, I just need the strawberries. Okay, I don't know what to put for the last one, so we're just gonna do some more strawberries because he loves his strawberries. I think that's all I can fit. Okay, that looks like a pretty good first lunch of school to me. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. We're good to go. Okay, I think Mustafa is going to get him dressed, but I am gonna go ahead and put a little bit of makeup on just to make myself look a little bit more alive. And then while I do that, I can kind of talk to you guys a little bit more. So I'm only putting him in part-time, um, just three days a week for now. We're just gonna try it out, see how we like it. I don't think I'll ever, I won't go full-time this year for sure, but if we end up like not liking it, then I'm just gonna like take him out. But like I said, I don't think that's gonna happen. This is kind of embarrassing, but my mom spoiled me so much. She packed my lunch every day for me from when I was like three, four, all the way until I was like a senior in high school, 18 years old, because She's the best and I never had to, I never had to pack my lunch ever in high school. Isn't that kind of sweet? It's like, I can't believe she like spooled me that much, but she's the best, like the best. They have nap time over there for like, from like 12.30 to 2, I think. Um, so I don't know how that's going to go. He's never been able to like nap like that with like a bunch of kids like that i don't think i think for, since it's the first day i'm not gonna let him nap there i think i'm gonna pick him up early and bring him home just so he doesn't get too worked up because i feel like that's kind of i feel like that's just kind of a lot for the first day yeah, maybe she did. all done max being a little bit grumpy we're a little bit scared he's gonna like scream and cry He's already screaming the ground. Baby? He wants to watch Blippi. Okay, we can watch Bl five minutes of Blippi, then we gotta go, okay? Okay, okay mama. Okay, we just got in the car. We're on our way to drop Malik off. He has his own little folder of all this paperwork I had to fill out and stuff. I can't believe this is happening. I feel like Mustafa is more emotional than me. Because I'm like, kind of chill. Like. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not in emotional. You're nervous for him? Yeah. Or you're nervous to send him? No, I'm nervous for him. You're nervous he's for a baby. Him. Yeah, he's a little baby. But he's like a very independent baby. <laughs> he likes to do things. Yeah. He's very he's like, social. So he's so, he's so He loves social. being around people. So that's why he's this is a good thing so for him. Oh my goodness. You can put your shoes on for your first day. Okay, we just dropped him off and he was like screaming and crying as expected. 
but what was so sad is when they took him into the room, he was like screaming outside, outside, like he like outside the door. He wants to go out the room, like because at, at home he does that all the time. Like if he wants to go outside, he'll just like saying out, start saying outside. But he was like screaming outside, <laughs> outside, and like crying, and it was so sad. <laughs> but. He's gonna have a good day. They're, she said they're about to go to the playground. Yeah, she said that they're about to go let him play in the playground. I think once he sees that they're having fun. He's yeah, like it's fun. cause like when we walked in there, all the kids were sitting on the table. They're yeah, like they're eating snack. their snacks or something. But he was like, what is this? Like, no, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be a part of this. <laughs> he like wanted to leave, but yeah, I think, I think it's gonna be good. This is gonna be good for him for sure. So we're at home just hanging out. We've been here for a few hours. We decided that we're gonna go pick him up early today just because they nap. Um, they nap there, but since it's his first day, I just I feel like that's a lot on him to go to school and then have to nap there. It's just like a lot. So we're gonna go pick him up before they nap and let him nap here. Um, and then tomorrow I'll just let him stay as usual. But that's the plan. I just spent the past few hours editing and Mustafa was just hanging out, enjoying his time, weren't you? Weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's his off day today, so. We usually spend our days with Maddox, like playing with him and doing stuff, but now that he's not here, it's like, we didn't know what to do really. We were just like, what do we do? Yeah. Just staring at each other. We're gonna go ahead and go get him now. We have to go to the grocery store and make a few returns. So I'll bring you guys along with us. Hi. How did he do? Malik. Oh. Are you okay? Malik. Poor baby. <laughs> we got him to kind of calm down a little bit. He's still whimpering a little bit. Oh my god, it broke my heart. <laughs> I didn't even cry, like dropping him off. I didn't cry now, but I almost did, like picking up and just seeing how he's still whimpering. Poor baby. I'm just like, it looks like he had a hard day. They said he played outside and he had fun outside, but I guess when they brought him back inside, he started crying again. And he barely ate his lunch, so I'm feeding it to him now. He's eating his peanut butter sandwich now. And we put Blippi on for him, so he's doing good now. We just got home, we did the returns, and we picked up some groceries that I'm gonna cook here in a little bit. Make some dinner. Matic is still a little bit grumpy. <laughs> start on the salad first to get it knocked out of the way I'm pretty sure I've shown it on here before but it's just spring mix and then I'm gonna do red onion cucumber tomato and is that it and then for the dressing it's a lemon juice olive oil salt so really easy but I'm gonna go ahead and chop up this rest, the rest of this red onion. I'm gonna go ahead and boil the water for the pasta too. So that's what we're doing right now. Do red onion. Okay, salad toppings are done. I'm just gonna add the dressing, but I'm gonna do it a little bit later. I'm gonna cook the pasta first. I'm gonna go ahead and add my penne pasta. I'm doing penne because Malik loves this type of pasta and it's the easiest for him to eat or else I would have did like a, like a spaghetti type of pasta. So I got my shrimp and I'm gonna add 
some minced garlic to it. And I'm gonna add some Old Bay seasoning. About a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna do black pepper and a little bit of salt. Mix that up. While the pasta is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add the dressing to my salad. So I'm gonna do salt, some olive oil, and then I'm gonna juice one lemon. You can add more depending on how lemony you like it. And that is it for the salad. Super easy to make and it's so good. I like always crave it. He just came and asked for more milk. This is the second bottle of the day. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna cook the shrimp. I'm gonna add my butter. And then I'm gonna add my shrimp. It smells so good. Simple yet delicious. It seems like everyone ate except me. What's up, are you hungry again? Yeah. He ate, well I guess you ate a little bit earlier. I really Malik already ate. I have not eaten. You ate like a late, like a late lunch. Yeah. Yeah, bubble. Mm. Wanna try? Wanna try this food? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm. It's so good though. More? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So Maddox's teacher called me like an hour ago and she was like basically telling me like yeah. he cried like basically the whole day and you know we could tell like when we went and picked him up but she was too busy she wasn't able to like actually like, talk to me when we picked them up because we picked them up early um, so that she was getting the kids down for a nap and she was basically telling us like he cried the whole time and um, she felt really bad for him, but we're hoping that, you know, obviously it was just the first day, so we're hopefully, hope, hopefully tomorrow will be better, but we'll see. Yeah. And he's, once he gets acclimated to people, he's good. Mm-hmm. He's, he's afraid of... What? People who like don't... Like, us not being there. Yeah. Oh, that scares him. What? But inshallah tomorrow will be better. Okay, I wanted to share one last thing before I closed out this vlog. I got these two new sets in from Amazon that I think are going to be perfect for this upcoming fall winter season. And I've already shared it on my TikTok and my Instagram, but I haven't shared it on my YouTube. So in case you don't have those socials, I want to share it on here as well. But this is the first one. It's like a long sleeve and it's um, a pants set. I'm gonna attach a little clip here of me actually trying on and wearing it for you guys. You can actually see what it looks like. But it's this adorable set. So this is the top and here is the pants. And it has that same design on the pants and it has like a little, just like a little slit on the side on the pants, but they're long. So it's not revealing whatsoever. And it is so modest. It's so cute. I sized up. I got a large, I'm usually medium and everything, but I got a large on this because I feel like it does run a little bit smaller. So I would suggest sizing up for sure. This one actually comes in so many beautiful colors, like a cream, a gray, a brown, there's like so many. And then I also got it in the short sleeve version and I have, I've already worn it once. Um, it's a little bit too hot, but I wore it once. It's just too cute to not wear it yet, but I just wore like a long sleeve black shirt under it and it was perfect. It was still so cute. And I feel like for winter, like, I just feel like that would be, like, it's perfect, you know? Like, we're, we're always layering and stuff. So, this is the other one. Again, I'll attach a clip here and show it to you guys, like, of me wearing it. But, it has that same design on the bottom of the pants. It is so cute. So, I thought I would share these two before I close out the video because I'm obsessed. This one also comes in a lot of colors as well. But okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
I will keep you guys updated with how Maddox preschool goes as I continue to take him. Um, inshallah, I'm praying it just gets better on from here. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Comment down below your thoughts. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.